Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews. Today we're going to go to the Cook's Pest Control Museum or the Cook's Museum. Uh, if you've heard of Cook's Pest Control, then I think they're nationwide now, but they uh, originated out of Decatur, Alabama. And of course, that's where the Cook's Museum would be. And that's where it has been too, because it's been there for a really long time. We used to go on field trips there, but now they've built a new one. This is like seven years in the making. It's a really long time to build something. So I, my expectations are kind of high, but they're also geared toward children. I think it'll be geared toward kids because the field trips were their main kind of uh, attraction to the museum to begin with. But history of the Cook's Museum, this is where it's pretty cool. The Cook Museum uh, humble roots can be traced back to 1968 when John Cook Sr. opened his professional insect collection to the public by appointment, which at the time had been used primarily for employee training at Cook's Pest control. It later grew to include a wide array of mounted wildlife touring malls throughout Alabama, Tennessee, and Georgia. 1980, additional collections of rocks, minerals, fossils, coral, seashells, mounted wildlife, and federally protected migrate, migratory birds were acquired and a 5,000 square foot building was constructed. At that time, what became known as Cook's Natural Science Museum came into existence and it welcomed more than 75,000, 750,000 visitors from its opening in 1980 until its closing in 2016. The Cook Museum of Natural Science grand opening in June 2019 marks the culmination of an ex approximately 50 year vision in the making. So that is extremely cool. Uh, Mr. Cook's inspiration and motivation for the museum came from his desire to generously serve and support his local community and region to creatively display God's creation. The Cook family continues this legacy with the Cook Museum of Natural Science and we are still driven by the same vision today. And the president and board chairman is Brian Cook. So I'm assuming he is a descendant. I've been looking for this. I think I've been talking it up for a really long time that I really think this is going to drive a lot of education and a really cool experience to children on these field trips and stuff like that. So I'm super pumped. Are you pumped? Sure. She's pumped.
right, so this has been the Cook Museum in Decatur, Alabama. It's kind of an emotional experience to know that it comes from such a small place, from such a good-hearted place, up to this huge thing that is going to be great for students. I was blown away by how much detail and love went into everything, and you can kind of see it across uh, every little inch of this place. And the staffing was fantastic. Everything's great, so I can't wait to look forward to my kid get coming here on a field trip and everybody else's too so good job and make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that bell so you get to catch the next place that we go to that we highly recommend see ya